As we all already know, AI inside a desktop operating system has been a disaster. Whether you talk about Windows 11 Plus Copilot, nobody likes that. Today we have an amazing application which is an AI assistant for your Linux setup. And yeah, it is really similar to the Fire OS AI. Like if you have used Fire OS, it's an awesome operating system based on Chrome OS plus Linux plus Android. Awesome. It has an AI application which works fantastic. We have a similar thing or almost the same thing on Linux, but way better than that. So let's get started, shall we? So here we are on the assistant and let me just show you some things like for example, Hey, how's it going? Tell me about Fedora 42 and how is it for my gaming experience if I want to play Farlight 84. And it's gonna turn my speech to text just like this. And here we are, we have everything. We have the Fedora, how is it for gaming and then how can we install Steam and install that particular game. You have it. Let me just clear everything so you know. Now, it's not just a chat like application out of the box. You have more. First, the audio rich interface, then we can actually add some documents like this. For example, if I want this, this is an image of a thumbnail. What is this security app for Linux? I don't know. Most probably it won't be able to recognize it. It is Capitano, but yeah. Okay. It was able to detect that it's an antivirus firewall and intrusion detect system, which is actually Capitano. So yes, it is good. We can actually change it to ChatGPT or any other one to use the full capabilities of Infinite as well. Like let's say, I want to know how is Kaden Live on Linux for video editing as compared to DaVinci for freelancing? It's a really typical question like you have an open source amazing very powerful Kaden Live video editor. Then you have a proprietary industrial ready software which is widely used but which is better for freelancing or is it okay or not let's see and yeah by the way i'm cre i'm gonna create a video about this particular topic in the future so don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss that one and yes you can create different profiles as well and then you have the thread editing you know you have to run some threads and then it'll work then you have some extensions which you can install from the official website and then the usual settings which we saw earlier, I should have switched to this open, uh, open AIs or GPT-4 free. It should have been better. You know, I'm actually using the demo API. We only have 10 requests a day. <laughs> well, it is only for demo purposes. We're going to have to download GPT-4. And now this is time for the segue to our sponsor, DataSurf. The smart, local-first browser that is built for creators, dreamers, or anyone who actually thinks on the internet. And everything I researched for the video before the pre-production was done inside DataSurf just like this. And most browsers track you but DataSurf doesn't. DataSurf is a local first browser. So yes, I use DataSurf and it's not just a browser for me. It's a one-stop destination for my workspace. It is like my second brain. And you can check DataSurf with the link in the description and let's continue the video. But this is just perfect if you want a native application running your AI tasks for you in a proper application. And yeah, here it is our answer. So, Kaden Live and DaVinci Resolve are both powerful video editing softwares and options available to Linux, but they cater to different people for having distinct strengths and especially considering freelancing. So, let's see. Kaden Live, it's open source, free. That's the biggest advantage. We don't have to pay anything. It has a good amount of features for professional level video editing. Then we have a configurable interface which we do not on the Vinci. Then it is actively developed and then relatively light on resources. Well, to be honest, it has been an amazing experience. But you have some other amazing options as well. For example, local documents. We saw it earlier. But long term memory is a feature you do not get on the free versions or any version of ChatGPT, like maybe the maximum one. Not even on Perplexity, not even on Gemini. You can actually store some data, like some conversations, some information to be remembered later like a normal assistant. You can enable it. Then you have text to speech feature as well. If you're talking from here, it's gonna return back with a voice command. But it is still in development. Then you have web search, which I was not using till now. Let's see if it works now as well or not. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep. 
Whoa! It has already provided me a detailed answer regarding everything. So why am why am I? You have already proved that I have better detailed answer than I had in this language. Please, like, what is this language? I'm gonna have to use ChatGPT or some better model, or else I'm gonna have to listen to some weird language. And yeah, you might wonder, like, why am I not actually downloading this GPT-4? It would have been awesome. That is because right now I'm in my hometown and the internet connection is really bad. Like 500 KBs is like the best here. And if you want amazing speed, you have to get to the terrace. Well, a detailed video will be coming on the channel later. But I believe that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this AI assistant. And yeah, check out DataSurf. I've been using DataSurf for like all my works. And the overall look, feel, aesthetic is awesome i know but what's more better is the ai capabilities you have like the ai capabilities are just awesome you have so many things which you can do and the ai features not to forget it all just works flawlessly and it is just fast like even faster than this ai assistant as long as you have a really nice internet connection as you can see we have a card layout like i just you know search this image what is this it's a card layout where there are design tools ai tools news source youtube shortcuts and notes purpose the purpose of the dashboard is to centralize quick access to frequent online tools news reports and new taking apps for enhancing productivity so you know this layout which i've made is amazing for productivity and so is this awesome application it is just perfect for linux users because all the data is stored locally on your device just like this so yep don't forget to check out data so and let me know in the comments what do you think about this application and i'll be next video till then i'm on signing out